All right, Frankie, pizza review time. Why? Uh, Tea's Wine and Bar Kitchen. It's actually like a super nice restaurant in there. This guy was working there, now he's looking. Was that the owner who came out? Oh. Uh, the guy was sitting on the, he was sitting at the bar. Oh, no, that's not the owner. The owner just went out. Uh, Got it. Not, uh, so that's just a customer? Yeah. Uh, they treat everyone well. This customer's rolling around like he owned the joint. He's the one who invited you in, Frankie. I thought he owned it. <laughs> Do you need to get in? Do you need to get in the restaurant? Or? No, no, no. I'm just waiting for someone in there who's coming out. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, one bite, everyone knows the rules. Like I said, very date vibe in there. You got the vino, you got all the different wines, white, red, uh, and then pizza. Saucy in the middle. I'm not sure if I overheard this guy there. Did you say the chef didn't eat pizza? Oh, the pizza guy. Uh, Oh, he tries to stay fit. Yeah, got it. Tries, <laughs> I, I don't blame him. So I, I think they were saying, he said it, he's like, it's kind of weird. I, I don't think the chef eats pizza, but he makes it. One bite ever knows the rules. What just happened there? Taking a slice off, the whole thing ripped to hell. This is a messy sauce all over. This is like not, this is a one and a quarter slice. That's on you. I don't know, I've never seen that. Yeah, the Parmesan on there. I'll be honest, it's a little bit messy if it's a like date spot. If you're doing wine and then you have like grease all over, no wonder this guy's not eating his own pizza. Who's staying fit with this grease fest going on? Corner of Pacific and Market. Uh, see what Stanford, Connecticut. I'd stick with the wine. I'm gonna go uh, five nine. I'm in a bad mood today, but I'm not. But maybe I am.